After 10 years of declaring Ghana polio free, the country has detected a fresh case of polio type 2 in the Tamale metropolis in the northern region. The general public is advised to practice personal hygiene methods like regular hand washing and proper sanitary disposal of fecal matter to prevent further spread of the disease. The Ghana National Polio Plus Committee on April 26th this year marked 10 years of the country's polio-free status. This means the polio menace has been reduced to its barest minimum in the country. However, three months after this year's celebration of the achievement, the country has detected the type 2 of the polio virus in an environmental sample in Tamale. At infancy, immunization against the virus is encouraged to protect children against 25 different infectious agents and diseases which leaves babies wheelchair-bound. While there were only 33 cases of wild polio virus reported in 2018, the last mile of eradication is reported to have proven to be the most difficult. Barriers to eradication which must be overcome has been identified as weak health systems, insecurity and mobile and remote populations. As long as a child has polio, all children are at risk, which underscores the need for continued funding and commitment to eradication. The Ghana Health Service and its partners in a statement released on Thursday said investigations has begun to identify possible source of infection and determine the extent of geographical spread of the virus. The statement further called on the general public to practice personal hygiene methods like regular hand washing and proper sanitary disposal of fecal matter to, to prevent further spread of the disease.